guys welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time i put a new video you're going to be notified about it that is why you should click the notification bell and if you're returning welcome returning that means you're a subscriber and you're watching i really appreciate i appreciate a whole lot and um it's your girl Luznell, and um i'm going to be talking about um some principles about life some some habits you need to cultivate and to live a better life and um it's gonna be 10 of them so i'll be going one after the other just follow with me these are habits you need to cultivate to live a better life to to experience heaven on earth right here in earth okay um the first thing you need to do is to put god first if you want to do anything in life you need to put God first whatever your endeavors are whatever your projects are you put God first I remember one time I and my sister were talking about you'll be seeing her face mostly in these videos and Elizabeth she's gonna be talking a lot in these videos and she was she was talking to me about the project we, we were working on and so when I was like okay so what are we supposed to do now she said okay the first thing we're gonna do we're supposed to pray I looked at her and that was really a striking moment because um, we really need to put God first we need to hear God's part of the whole story put God first in everything that you want to do it's very important um, he's always gonna be there to direct you he's the only one that's gonna tell you teach you in all things the Holy Spirit is gonna be teaching you a lot so you need to put him first second thing you need to do is never forget your roots this is one thing that most believers do we forget where we are from we we came from a church and then we we traveled we got married and then we we got married and went somewhere else and then so all of a sudden we just forgot about the place where god was grooming us and um forget to be a blessing to where we were never forget your roots the day you forget your roots you're like a tree and every tree has a root the day you forget your roots you start to wither. If you're not watering your roots, you start to wither. Anybody who has ever been a blessing to you, as much as you grow, you need to always acknowledge those people because those are your roots. They were they, they are your 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 foundation. If you ever make mistakes on your foundation, you forget to to mine your foundation, you will fail in this life. And that's not our desire. That is not our always, always, almost, utmost desire. We believe that we want to grow. And if you want to grow, you need to remember your roots. Your roots could be your church. It could be someone who took you to one level. It could be someone, your parents mostly. Those are the people, the angels God sent for on your behalf. They, even as much as some parents, I have, I'm, I'm blessed with wonderful parents. They support me in everything. Like my dad will give you advice on anything you want to do and allow you to even do anything you want to do as far as it is right, you know. And um, it's a blessing. I know some of us may not have that kind of support from our parents, but yet we should never forget our roots because parents, despite what, even my dad will say this despite words they are your parents so you must always remember your roots follow your roots and respect that okay um you also have to give massively the bible says give and it shall be given unto you good measures pressed down shaking all together shall men give unto your bosom always think of giving each time we talk about giving maybe people many people think about giving just in finance and all of that but you can also give people your time and you can always give people encouragement try to find a way to to give out something and remember you that you can't give what you don't have so the things that you have is an indication that you need to be giving out if you're good at something make sure to help people out there because somehow somewhere someone must be learning from or gaining from what you're doing so give out don't lock up yourself and all of that that's a life principle and the next thing you need to do is um show love and be genuine about it this is one part of life the bible says love your neighbor as yourself and that's one great principle one great law that God, jesus came himself and gave love is very genuine is very good and genuine 
first corinthians 13 says love is kind you know all of that and so we need to be able to give love and need to be genuine if you don't fake it if you don't love somebody you're supposed to love everybody technically and that's the only thing that you owe anybody you owe everybody love and so you need to give it and give it genuinely. You need to give people love. Show people love. Be genuine with it. It, it pays a whole lot. You understand? Next thing you need to do is be kind and be hospitable. No matter what someone does to you, it is not an avenue for you to reciprocate whatever they did to you. If it was bad, for example. Say someone hurts you or lied to you about something. You should never in your life reciprocate that. You need to show love. You need to give your enemies love. Feed them because it will become calls to them. So you need to be able to give love. Show be kind and hospitable to people. You don't know where you meet people. You don't know who can help you in the future. When you show kindness and love, it's like an investment. You're investing it in people and someday God will pay it back to you. It's like an investment. And you always have to have that in your mind. That I may be giving this person like this. It may not necessarily be that this same person is going to help me here. But another person will come and help me because of something I did. It's an investment. That's why the Bible says give and it shall be given unto you. It doesn't necessarily mean that you must give the money. It can mean so many different things. Give love, you will get it in return. And the same measure that you give, it comes in multiple folds. So have that con consciousness inside of you. Next thing you need to do is don't live a fake life. Whatever you are, whoever you are, live like that because someone loves you for who you are and someone is out there looking for who you are. And God God has made you the way you are. Don't live a fake life. Don't live life to impress people. It it if it, it, it really um it will instead um cost you more if you're trying to live like someone else. There are certain things that a can never do so there's no need it stresses a to do so there's no need coming to become b b at some point because you want to fit in into a certain place be who you are and life will always fall in for you like i said i have so many videos on this the only, if you there was a place like fit in you will only be able to fit in as you not as another person i won't be able to fit in like um a if i'm b if there's a space a, a space for the letter a the only letter that can fit into that place is a not a b it can never go in it can never go in so you need to be able to live a true life live who you are whoever you are just live it like that because that's the only way you fit in some people are amazed at who you are and never be ashamed i want to add this even though it's not among my points never be ashamed of what you represent never be ashamed of what you represent and always have that conviction about what you represent it it stands it gives you a certain level of confidence in life never be ashamed you can the next thing the next thing you need to do is to be consistent consistency is a very important attribute or it's a necessity for anything that you're doing if you're not consistent in doing anything you will never achieve anything at all if you start today and you give up along the line, that's not going to take you anywhere in life. You should also network. It's a very big part of investment. Get to meet people. Meet up with different people. Make friends because that's an important kind of investment. You should also work hard. Many of us, um, we are into a lot of things. We need to work hard. Work hard. Put in your, your efforts, read, study, do something, go out there, hustle, work hard, work hard in life. If you are just sleeping, you would, you would, before you want to know, you have, you have become a very, you are a poor person. Work hard and save and invest in people, in resources, in a lot of things because that's going to help you a lot. And the last of it all, which is very important, don't give up. Whatever you start to do, never give up on it. Find every way to do it, even no matter what, how, whatever comes your way. Find a way to do it. Hope this is a blessing to you. Have a wonderful week ahead. I love you so much.